Thank goodness you came here. Wally's planning something evil, warned Ernie, and it's almost too late. What was that thing he was working on, questioned Jeff. All he'll tell us is that it'll be terrible. Then they jumped. Oh no! That's the most acorns I've ever seen, exclaimed Jeff. Run! But it was too late. The army of nuts swallowed them up. The Captain Acorn spoke to Wally. Beep beep, sir, just received dispatch. Intruders, beep, call it. He didn't see me, did he? Now, sir, Wally said to whatever he was working on. Good, so do whatever you can to keep them quiet. Keep them away from everyone else at all costs. Yes, Mike. The next morning, Jeff woke up tired and disoriented. He was standing in a giant circle drawn in the grass. What am I doing here? He asked himself. I need to get home. I need to warn the others. But as he stepped on the line, he felt a shock go through his body. I'm trapped, he wailed. Wally and his acorns must have put me here. But where is Wally? Where's Ernie? Where's anyone? Back in town, Gary just returned, and he was surprised about everything that happened while he was gone. Uh-oh, Wally's back. Don't worry, Gary. There's no danger. Wally was still thinking about Jeff last night. Billy spoke up. Gary, on your way home, did you see Jeff at all? No, I didn't. That's weird, pondered Billy. He just left last night after Wally left. Do you know where he is, Wally? No, I don't, Wally lied. Corey was worried about Jeff, too. I hope Wally's telling the truth, he thought to himself. Jeff stood alone in that circle. Until Ray drove by. In the truck. Hi, Jeff, said Ray. What are you doing way out here? What are you doing way out here, responded Jeff. Wally let me borrow this all day long, snickered Ray. I'm cruising all over Side Lake World. You can come along if you want. Oh, thank you, Ray, cheered Jeff. Perhaps the truck can pass through the, the trap. What trap? asked a very confused Ray. This dirt circle I'm standing in, Jeff said. Wally drew it around me so I couldn't escape. But thanks to you, I can go back home and spread the word and warn everyone. Um, you know what, Jeff? I just changed my mind, sneered Ray. I'm sick of you picking on my new buddy. Good luck getting out of your trap. And Ray rumbled away. Oh well, sighed Jeff. He's not the only side lick in the world. I have plenty of friends. They'll come and rescue me. I know they will. I think... Maybe. His luck pulled through, and Timmy drove by. Jeff, what are you doing way out here? cried Timmy. It's a long story. Can I just explain on the way, begged Jeff. Okay, just hop in. I can't, groaned Jeff. Wally drew this shield or something around me. To keep me from telling you the secrets about him and what he's doing. Please, Timmy, take me home so we can rescue everyone. I've heard enough, said Timmy. It's one thing to frame Wally, but it's just completely wrong to blame him for some dirt trap. Who helped him make this trap, robots? Next, you're probably going to tell me that he's going to beam us all into space, Timmy snapped. Goodbye, Jeff. No, never get out, complained Jeff. And who knows what Wally's going to do to them. Ray and Timmy were already back in town, and they were spreading the word about Jeff. He's out in the fields pretending to be trapped in a dirt circle, cried Timmy. And he's blaming Wally for all of this, exclaimed Ray. He told me to watch out for Wally's acorn army, chimed in a very confused Nick. This is strange, Oscar finally said. 
I wonder why Wally is so suspicious for Jeff. Jeff just isn't acting like himself, said Ray. Well, neither is Wally, said Oscar. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Oscar had a word with Wally. Hey, Wally, you'll never guess what I heard from my friends. They said that Jeff said that you trapped him. So, um, Jeff must be crazy. I didn't trap him. Well, I didn't say you did, said Oscar. Well, anyway, my birthday's coming up. Oh, well, do you want me to make you a cake? Well, I was thinking maybe a nice acorn pie, suggested Oscar. Acorns? stammered Wally. I love acorns, and I also heard that Jeff said something about acorns, too. Oh, well, I have an oak tree, Wally lied. Okay, smiled Oscar. Can I see it? I want to pick the best acorns for my pie. Sure, I'll bring it over. Oscar was speechless when Wally returned with his oak tree. Well, that's an oak tree, all right, he finally said. But shouldn't it be in the ground? Not this kind, he snickered. The tree whipped around. It was a robot. And it picked up Oscar. Oh no, wailed Oscar. Oscar was Wally's prisoner. Goodbye, Oscar. And with no one to stop him, Wally continued his maniacal laugh. Wally's other prisoner, Jeff, had gone about an hour alone. And then along came Billy. He was about to keep going, but Jeff stopped him. If it's about Wally, I don't want to hear it, said Billy. Billy, please, you're my best friend, begged Jeff. I promised I would help you if you were in trouble, and you are. Wally is dangerous, and I need your help to find out what he's up to. I need your help, Billy. Everyone does. Billy responded grimly. Jeff, I want it, well, well, from what I've heard... This is a circle of dirt that you're trapped in. I'm not entirely sure if it's really that dangerous or not. And I'm not sure about Wally. I just don't know. I wish I could help. Goodbye, Jeff. Jeff was losing hope fast. Maybe Cory will come by looking for me. But someone else came. It was Tommy. Hello, Jeff, said Tommy. Timmy said you were out in his field, so I came looking for you. What is going on? Don't ask Tommy, groaned Jeff. You'll just laugh or go away. I won't. I promise, promised Tommy. Wally has an army of acorn people, began Jeff. They arrested me and trapped me in this circle. It doesn't look dangerous, but when you step on the line, it shocks you. Ernie is now one of his prisoners, and I saw that he was working on a robot. Ernie told me something bad is going to happen, and I know. But no one believes me. I do, said Tommy. Really? Why? When I don't get what I want, I be mean. And the others do as I say. But now that they have Wally to protect them, I don't get anything, he said sadly. And also, my brother Timmy being friends with Wally, I am also lonely. I will help you, Jeff. What do you need? Okay, Tommy, I need you to look for anything that you can use against him. Anything suspicious about him could work. Tell Cory about all this, too, added Jeff. And if still no one believes you, then you can take them to the top of the mountain. The highest peak is his base. He finished. Okay, we will beat this monkey lick. And Tommy, Jeff added, thank you. That's what friends are for. And with a smile, the jubilant Tommy left. Jeff wasn't sure if the others would believe Tommy either, but it was worth a try.